Alright guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you the haul of stuff that Eric and I won at the auction. So this was from the footage that you saw recently. Uh, however, it's kind of old to me because we went to the auction last week and I actually won a lot of stuff. And as far as what I won um, the week of this stuff, it wasn't a ton of things. Uh, but um uh, one of the reasons was because things were just selling really, really high, and there is literally no rhyme or reason to what things will end at at auction because, um, you know, you have the people that are there every week who are just regulars, and you kind of get an idea of, like, what kind of stuff that they buy and that type of thing, and then other times you see people there that, you know, you've never seen before, so it just all depends on who is there and what they're interested in bidding on as to, you know, what things will go for, so, and also the week that we went um, from that last footage was... Um, it had only been like a few days since we had put our dog down and we were still really really upset and we didn't even actually stay for the whole auction we had to leave early because we just weren't feeling it um, today I think I only cried once so far I've been crying still like every single day uh, but I don't want to talk talk too much about that uh, so we're just gonna get into what I ended up winning, or we ended up winning, because, um, I'm sorry I really before I'm even starting the haul, but, um, typically at this auction, there's two auctioneers going at the same time, so at times, Eric has to go off to, um, the other section to bid on stuff while I'm over on the other section bidding on stuff, um, so anyway, one of the biggest things things that I wanted to win and I told Eric I said I don't care how much it costs I need them and if you saw my video it was my mom's old high school yearbooks and I kid you guys not the last time I was at my aunt's house um I had asked her if she had um her old high school yearbooks because she was in my mom was in some of the ones my aunt had because she was a grade one grade lower than hers and um, she does have her yearbooks. I don't know if she had a summer job or something, but she was able to pay for her um, yearbooks, and my mother was not. So she didn't get them out because we didn't have time. And then what do you know, at the auction, they have every single one of my mom's high school yearbooks except for her senior year. But I have her senior year. That was the only yearbook she actually purchased. And a funny thing about my mom is she always hated getting her picture taken. Um, she was like that her whole life. So <laughs> when she was a teenager and even into her adult life, she just hated getting her picture taken. So there's one yearbook where she's literally not there. Um, she told me uh, that she um, didn't go to school that day because she didn't want her picture taken. And even my aunt said too, she was laughing about it. She said that she um, played hooky that day so she didn't have to get her picture taken. So anyway, again as I was saying, no rhyme or reason, they had two, they had two of her freshman this was her freshman year. Um, it was 1971. So let me find this on my paper here. La, 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 la. So <laughs> I was hoping that they would auction off the entire stack of yearbooks since they all, you know, were obviously the same school. But for whatever reason, they decided to do these two separately. Um, I obviously only wanted one of them. I didn't want both. But I did end up winning these two at a price of $12.50. So well worth it for me. She's actually in this one. This, like I said, was her freshman year. Um, but now I have another and my aunt already has this one. So I'm probably going to, I didn't list it yet, but I'm probably going to list it up um, on eBay since I don't need it. I just hope there doesn't come a time in my life where I regret doing that if something were to happen to the one that I have. So then <laughs> I did win her other two. So it was the 1972 and 1973. So one of them she's not in, but my aunt's still in it and as well as like my mom's school friends that I knew um, even through her adult life. 
So these two I won at a slightly higher price of $22.50. I paid for the two of these. So like I said, I was willing to pay whatever I had to for them because I wanted them that bad. Uh, so it was so awesome to find those. I just, it was so weird. Like the whole time I was there, like everything I was looking at, like I felt like she was there. Like her high school yearbooks, there was things I was seeing of, um, you know, where she used to work. Uh, there was a pair of shoes and I think even a purse of her favorite brand. It was just, it was crazy crazy like everything that I was seeing so I was so excited that I won those um next thing Eric won this for me look at oh my gosh I absolutely love this thing I love I say the word creepy but I mean that in, in an endearing way <laughs> but this creepy little plush he's got the saddest little face oh my goodness so this doesn't have a tag when I did a search for him it it was showing similar teddy bears um, by Knickerbocker, uh, pouty face, sad face teddy bears. Um, but these older stuffies, especially when they have rubber faces, kind of like the Rushton ones, can sell high. So I just, I wanted to get him and just to see what would happen. He did have um, a little issue here where it looks like <laughs> it, he was loved a little too much and his leg had to be repaired slightly. But Eric won him at a price of just $4. And I do have him listed on eBay. I listed him on auction with a starting price of $89.99. Like I said, these old stuffies can sell really high. Um, and it definitely seems the ones with the rubber face are more desirable, regardless if they're rushed in or not. Um, so there were like two other creepy old um just vintage antique stuffed animals i really wanted those as well but they sold for so much and they were on the other side of the auction so had they been over on the other side i probably could have gotten them for like way cheaper um but it just goes to show that i'm not the only one out there looking for these um creepy cute plushies so but i won him at four dollars i thought that was a great deal uh, let's see I won this little piggy bank I just fell in love with him when I saw him and I figured I could probably get him for a pretty cheap price just because he's not like you know a, a super antique or anything like that so this piggy bank I won for just two dollars he's really cute though and he is marked on the bottom Tony Wood Studio England and he still has a stopper as well, which is obviously nice when it comes to piggy banks because a lot of times you come across piggy banks and they're missing their stoppers. So I do have him listed on auction at a starting price of $19.99. I went with an auction because the other items that I was seeing by this brand were mainly teapots. Like there was this pig as a teapot, but I didn't see any banks. So I thought maybe... That was Eric. <laughs> I thought maybe, um, you know, he'd be a little desirable since he was a bank instead of a teapot type of thing. So the week prior when I went to the auction, I ended up winning two Limoges trinket boxes and those both did so well. You'll see those um, in, you know, a cha-ching at some point. But there was some other Lim dang it Eric he keeps interrupting me um there were some other Limoges things at this auction no more trinket boxes but there were some dishes as well as a Limoges doll and this was the most gorgeous doll you saw it in the footage um those sell for so much money so if you would ever come across one out and about definitely pick it up um they sell, I would say, upwards of $300, potentially more, especially considering that one had like other clothes and stuff like that. Um, I do recall her selling for a lot. I think she did sell for close to $300. So, I mean, that's still a great deal considering you could probably sell, um, they sold her with like that trunk full of clothes. And I think that trunk, um, you know, you could have, sold that separately probably for a hundred dollars so 
Um, I didn't actually win her though. Just went a little, little higher than I would have liked for, you know, to make as much profit as possible kind of thing. But I did win the lots of Limoges items, the dishes that they had. So let's see, dresser plate with covered dish. I think that was separately. Dish, cup with lid. Okay, I'm trying to think. They had these in two separate lots. So I think this is how they did it. So the first lot was this guy here, and it's just like a double handled um, bowl. I don't know exactly what you want to call it, but it is marked T and V Limoges France on the bottom. I have this listed on auction with a starting price of $29.99. It already does have a bid. Um, I went with that price because I saw someone else had the same exact one but with just a different kind of floral design on the top and theirs had a bid at that same price as well. So I don't know if it'll go any higher than that um, but this was in the lot and I do think the T and V makes it slightly more valuable. I don't really know why um, but that was in the lot and I'll show you the others. This also was in the lot. This is just a little jar with a lid, um, but this is also Limoges. This one is marked WG and Co. on the bottom. So this one here I have listed as a buy it now of $19.99 for that piece. I don't know if that's like a sugar bowl or if it's just kind of like a little vanity dish to put you know on your vanity put like some beauty implements in it or something and then it was this here and this piece isn't Limoges it's got these purple violets on it and then these four legs it doesn't have any markings so I can't really say you know who it's made by but it's a nice um again like to, to put on a vanity and put like some jewelry or something in and that I have listed, did I lie? I lied. This one here I have on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I apologize. And then this one here was the buy it now for $19.99. And then what I paid for those, I paid that whole lot, I paid, um, seven dollars and fifty cents for so not too bad and then there was another lot that they put together and I'll show you the two pieces that were in there there was this really large um, again probably I would assume like a vanity tray so very nice and that was just marked Limoges France on the bottom so I have this on auction with a starting price of twenty five dollars and ninety nine cents it has such beautiful blue coloring and then they also put this with the lot and this again is another Limoges piece same color as the tray and same marking there on the bottom so this I have on auction as well with a starting price of $19.99 so that would look really cute together on a vanity um, and then that lot I won for just $5, $5 for that. So it's just interesting that, you know, some people really aren't interested in that kind of stuff. Um, the week prior, I had ended up with two Limoges trinket boxes that no one seemed to really want, which was just mind blowing because they sold for so much. <laughs> oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. Um, okay, so next. Thing. So next thing I have, and I only brought up one, but I did win that whole set of these. Um, they're by Presto Pride. I have a little pamphlet here as well. This whole set of Presto Pride um, just cookware. And these are really nice pieces. They're in like great condition for their age. Um, I won the whole set and there was a lot of pieces to it. You saw it in the footage, but I didn't want to bring up every single piece. Um, but I did win those for $17.50. So less than $20 for a complete like vintage Presto Bride cookware set that, you know, is a great, great deal. Um, I do, I do plan on listing them 
Um, I haven't yet. I was a little, uh, I wasn't quite sure. Do you see how on this pamphlet, you see the bottom looks like it has these copper, copper bottom to it. These don't have copper bottoms to them. So I don't know if those are missing or if the copper bottoms were something you could get separately or to put on. But then I see pictures like this and then, you know, these two, I don't see have copper bottoms, but this one does. I'm a little confused by it all. I have to do a little more research with these and I gotta find a big box to put them in. Uh, so I haven't listed them yet, but I do plan to. Eric won a pocket watch. This is a Harley Davidson pocket watch. It comes on a chain here. And then when you press this button, pops out there. So that's what the inside looks like. It's really nice and it came with this um, Harley Davidson Eagle kind of like pedestal so you can sit it you can sit it on there to display when you're not when you're not using it so that's really nice um it is also by Franklin Mint so he won this at a price of $20 um, it needs a battery his thought was he was gonna give it to his dad um, he didn't know if his dad would really want it or use it. I don't think he really, you know, uses pocket watches or anything like that. But he is really big into Harley Davidson. So I think he's trying to decide whether or not to get a battery for that and give it to his dad for Christmas or to sell it. So haven't decided yet what he's doing with that. But there's a potential that it'll probably go to his dad. Next was this log. This is like a junk lot, basically. A lot, sometimes like a lot of the flats, a lot of the flats at the auction are just, you know, just not necessarily junk, but some of it is. So Eric won this whole flat for $1. There was only one thing in the whole flat that I wanted, and it was this copper cuff. This is absolutely beautiful. It is stamped on the inside, solid copper, and it's by a company called Bell Trading. And some of their stuff does sell on the pricier side. So pretty much I paid a dollar for this, and I have this currently listed on auction with a starting price of $25.99. So that's mainly why I wanted the lot. I'll quickly go through it, but the rest is... I'll go through, okay, I've separated it already and I put like the the better type things in this bowl, so I'll, I'll, show, <laughs> I'll show you what's in here. So there was this little Avon Owl necklace pendant. This is really cute. Um, obviously just needs a chain for it. There was this necklace here. It's just um, like a strand of silver hearts doesn't have any markings um we got this pin here i don't think it has any markings or at least nothing that i can tell what it is um there was this pin with no markings there was this little necklace pendant no markings um got these clip-on earrings, no markings. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is one of those pressed pennies, Baltimore, Maryland. Um some usable thread. I'll put that in my sewing box. There was this little heart necklace pendant, no markings. <laughs> Got an Avon uh, breast cancer awareness pin. Then there were some chains, just like broken chains. I just want to make sure none of it might be, you know, anything good. But I did see there was this, um, looks like an earring clasp, but this is marked 925 Sterling. And then this thing here, I swear, says 14K on it. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. 
looks like it would have potentially been part of a necklace so that was pretty much like the better stuff that was in there other than the cuff which was all I really wanted and then I'll quickly show you what the junk was um so I may and I haven't decided if I'm gonna try doing like a junk jewelry kind of lot or like a junk drawer type lot I haven't decided anyway there was a baggie full of these things I have no idea what they are um I'm assuming some sort of like hardware type things I have no clue and then pieces that look like this I don't know maybe they are part of like to make jewelry I'm not sure then there was a bag of these again no clue they almost look like belt buckle type things I there's some gold colored ones and then there's some silver colored ones if anyone recognizes any of this stuff just let me know and then there was this baggie as well these things are heavy and they oh my goodness gracious so they kind of look like horseshoe shaped and then they have these backs and they're like jabby bits there on the back i don't know a whole bag of those there was an empty perfume bottle this isn't well no this is an old spice empty old spice bottle there was a this says pens and pencils it almost reminds me of um was that the game was that called parcheesi but it's a little pen and pencil cup holder this is like some old grinder i don't know um let's see there was this um just like little plastic it had a bunch of these things in again i don't really know oh about to drop that don't really know what they're for exactly they kind of just have like two little leaves on each side so it was a whole thing of them and then there was also a pretty cool where is that guy yeah like a little sword let's see Got a little sword there too. All right, and then the last thing was this canister. And this is just filled with all of the jewelry that was um, broken. Like it's just a mishmash of just broken jewelry and nothing that I think is anything too fantastic. So like I said, I may do like a junk jewelry type lot um of just like because I have some like a decent amount of just old broken jewelry so just to get it out of here I may do something like that for anyone who like is into like the crafting thing and that type of thing my Alexa's going off Alexa what's my notification okay so next flat we have Eric one for one dollar and fifty cents so I wanted this flat because there were some old magazines in it. Um, they weren't, I don't think, were going to be worth like a lot of money or anything like that. But I just wanted to look at them myself. So I did end up putting all of these magazines together in a lot. And I have these, I have these listed for... I have them on auction for a starting price of $19.99. So was this Twiggy magazine. This is from 1967. And then this one is missing the cover. It's this whole lot of ingenue vintage teen magazines. So they're all from 1969 except for one that was 1970. So I'll just show them real quickly. So, so super fun. I just loved looking through at all of the pictures. I'll open one up here in a minute so you can see some of the 
advertisements that were inside. So let's just take a look at this one. Here's a spread and then there's like a little pamphlet down there of like um, do your own thing things. It's cute. Here's another one. I have no, no idea. Oh, here's an old Bonnie Bell advertisement right there so super fun um but like i said we won this um lot for a dollar fifty and then there was also some other stuff in here there was this girl scouts 1963 little pamphlet um i did list this separately just since it was girl scouts i figured um, anyone who might collect old girl scout memorabilia might want it so I did list this as a buy it now for I think $9.99. And then there were these old, um, just different pamphlets. I have these listed as a lot, I believe also for $9.99 buy it now. So there's a little Libby's. Um, this one is Kitchen Fun uh, with Libby's Canned Meat. And some of these do have recipes on how to be well groomed from heel to toe. That's by Johnson Wax. Easy to make gifts for the small budget. That is also by Johnson Wax. Right, eating keeps you swinging. That is by Carnation. And then this one is Gelat um, by Knox Gelatin. So that one was from 1963. So lots of great, oh, and this one even has a little note, I guess, that went home from the school <laughs> about hallway monitors. So that's kind of neat that there was like an old, it's from September 1964, it's marked. So I'm just going to keep that in there, just in case anyone is using these things for like junk journaling or that kind of thing, then they have a little something else little fun surprise in there for them. Um, this went with my Presto Pride. <laughs> and then there were, the rest was all of these older, they're called Senior Scholastic from 1969. So they were all like, I guess, current affair type things, um, like a magazine of like current affair for, you know, kids. Well, like high school kids, I should say. Um, so these aren't really worth anything. I don't have these listed. My idea was, and I'm still not quite sure how I feel about this, uh, but there are some old advertisements in, in these, and I was debating on trying my hand at selling the old, you know, print advertisements kind of separately. So like, here's one for a blazer. Here's one for a Dodge Challenger. So I haven't listed them yet. I'm still like unsure if I want to even try um, just because I've never done that before. But I know there are people who do sell like vintage print advertisements from like old magazines and things like that. So I'm, deba I'm debating on it. So we'll see. And then the rest of the magazine that, you know, I don't want maybe put together as like a lot of just like craft bits like people like old papers and stuff like that so you know maybe someone who is looking for that type of thing would be interested in it for like the illustrations or anything like that um just so I don't throw it away like I hate I hate throwing stuff away like if it's usable in some way shape or form I like to be able to try and salvage it okay and then the last lot of stuff, Eric won for a dollar. So it was this box. <laughs> Again, there was only one thing that I really wanted out of the whole box, and that was this can of vintage rave hairspray. I know I always tell you guys like vintage beauty products. My, I don't know if that was my hair or not. Vintage beauty products can definitely sell well. Um, unfortunately, the sprayer on this is not the best like it sprays but it doesn't come out 
so much as a spray, more like a stream. So I had to mention that in my um, description. But I have this on a buy it now price of $39.99. Most people have them listed for around $50. But in count of mine not spraying super great, um, I didn't list it for as much. But again, just with these older things, not only do people want to buy back discontinued products that they really liked, um, you know, there are movie and TV shows, um, studios that buy this type of stuff as props and that kind of thing. So can you imagine someone's making a TV show or a movie from like the 80s, 90s, and they have a scene where the lady is spraying her hair with some hairspray. You're going to need a vintage can of hairspray in in the clip so um kind of just got to think of that type of thing too and put prop in your title i did end up listing this separate as well this is like a full can of vintage glade candle scents air freshener in the scent vanilla this is from 1997 they definitely don't make this anymore so i decided to list that just to see um, I put it up on auction with a starting price of $19.99 just to see. I'm not really expecting it to sell kind of thing, but if it does, that would be awesome. So the rest of this stuff, I'm either going to throw away, um, potentially maybe list some other stuff or um, see if my aunt wants the hairspray or anything like that. Uh, but I definitely don't really want much else. There was this full can of Aquanet hairspray. I don't really use hairspray and they still make that. This one might be slightly older. I know that they still make it, um, but it's like an older can. So again, maybe depending prop wise, uh, but it's just a suave, but that feels really full as well. Same with this one. This one's a white rain, but they still make that. There was this bottle of Nature's Family Pure Spa Moisturizing Body Wash in white ginger and grapefruit. It's still pretty full. Um, it looks like the little pumpy thing came out. It needs to be screwed back in. Um, but that's by Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf. So, I mean, that's like a decent brand. I wouldn't say it's like Dollar Tree, but maybe it is. I don't know. Um, this is an old off insect repellent. I didn't look this up. Um it's there's not much left in i'd say this was from 1982 wow so i'll have to look that up and see if that would be worth um listing as like a prop only type of thing since there's really not much in there was this pure spring cherry blossom lotion as well as a cherry blossom hand cream this is a uh, full I'll probably just keep this for myself a dove go fresh cool moisture cucumber and green tea shampoo this smells really good um they still make this as well but it's in a different bottle now it's not in this bottle anymore there was also a creative sensations cranberry hand cream that's pretty full so I might just use that a little flower uh, candle in a wrapper and then there was this this is an Avon um, like bath oil decanter it's really pretty and I say all the time like a lot of Avon isn't really worth much there is some that is worth money um, this isn't worth anything I don't really think but um, it's so pretty and it's such a shame because like the old Avon bottles and stuff like that were so pretty and so well made. It's just, it's upsetting how, you know, um, just how much it's not worth kind of thing, even though it's like so, so nice. So I'm going to actually keep this and I'm going to put my, well, after I clean it out, um, I'm going to put my own bath oil inside and put it by my tub because it's just that gorgeous so i'm gonna use it for myself after i clean it up um but that is everything for this haul like i said it wasn't as it wasn't as good as my haul uh, the week prior um 
my next auction footage and haul is going to be I won like a lot of stuff I mean I did pay a good bit for it but um, I did win a lot of good stuff and like this this haul there's some good stuff mixed in but it wasn't like that fantastic um, but it wasn't like a very fantastic day for Eric and I anyway like I said because we you know we left early and all of that um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed you have to let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time